and your wife have lost all rights to them forever. Yes. And you're hoping a lie detector test will we'll help you? We'll prove that we're not these bad, negative people that everybody's saying we are, because I have never would See, ever hurt anybody. Here's the, here, here's the problem. I'll give my life for somebody else's. Uh, Clifton, like, these stories when people come on my show, I'm like, mm -hmm. you know, the government just came in and took my kids. Why? Why, why would the government want to take anybody's kids? I honestly do not know that. And the paperwork, see, uh, the, the paperwork that you provided to us, mm -hmm. you gave it to us. Yes. In the paperwork, it stated that there was animal feces next to the children's toys and what appeared to be food roaches uh, all through the house. CPS determined the child was left outside unattended, sometimes in the cold, with only a diaper on. And on at least one occasion, he was left unsupervised for at least four hours at a time. Now, these are investigators coming out to your house. Hmm. On other occasions, the child was observed nude, crying hysterically, and although he would bang on the back door for his parents for hours on end, they did not let him in the residence. Now, see, that is not accurate. We had a double So sighting. somebody came to your house and they made that up? No, this is what the allegations are from the people. No, these are investigators. This is paperwork. They came out. They did an investigation. This is what they determined. This is the paperwork you gave yeah, us. I'm giving you the, what the allegations that No, they... it's not allegations. This is why your kid got taken away. Allegations need to be proven. They were proven. Hmm. Huh. The child has not provided provisions, so he is left to only eat dog food and drink water out of a five-gallon bucket. That never happened. During the investigation, the residence contained numerous health hazards, roaches, feces, soiled feminine hygiene products, Stacked dirty dishes, stained in dirty mattresses with no sheets, and clothing and garbage all over the house. They went into my wife's trash can while she was in the middle of a miscarriage and used that against us. Come on, man. Who, who couldn't let the child in from the backyard? He was not in the backyard. Yeah, he was. There. An investigator went there and looked and saw the child in the backyard. The cop was over the fence at 8 o'clock. These aren't in cops. The... Cops aren't doing that. These are CPS investigators. Not cops. What? Huh? There was a cop who said that that's what he saw. He saw the kid outside. And that... Okay, well, then the cops line? I honestly don't I know. can't say. I was Because wor... <laughs> think that's what cops want to do. They want to take your kids too? Hmm. Kids aren't taken away for dirty dishes and, you know, stuff they find in a trash can. Nobody's kids are taken away for that reason. Sir, you came here and took a lie detector test, and we asked you, did your son Ever sleep in the dog bed outside? Yeah. You, you, will you acknowledge you had a dog bed outside? I did have okay. a dog bed outside. Did your son ever sleep in the dog bed outside? You answered no. Did your son ever eat dog food? You answered no. Did you ever leave your son unsupervised outside for more than one hour? You answered no. Your results came back all the same, and they came back that you did not tell the truth. <laughs> my child because he had too many toys in his room. <laughs> too many toys. You know, I usually can be tough on people like this, right? But the good thing is the kids are gone. They're not getting them back. They can't get them back. They're gone forever. Um, and they wanted to come on the show and, and prove that she's not lying. Well, she came on, she failed. <laughs> because, you know, there might be a case where somebody, uh, you know, maybe there's something crazy and their kid get taken away, but not permanently and not forever. Uh, and, oh, by the way, are you gonna have more kids? Do you, do you want more kids? I don't know now. Yeah. I don't know if I should have any more it's kids. It's kind of tough raising kids. Got to clean the place up. Got to let them inside. Got to feed them. Of course. Such a pain in the ass. Yeah. Oh, you come on, Clifton. You make a confession. 
You confessed that the house was covered with trash. Yeah, there was trash in the house. Stated that there were a lot of roaches in the house. Yeah, there was. So you saw a lot, she saw none. He confessed that there were no sheets on the bed. Yeah. There Stating no that his son would pee in the bed. Yeah, and then we have so to So what them. was the point of putting sheets on? Yeah. It was a queen size bed. I don't see why there would be a problem with that. He did confess that there were cat feces in the I home. I mean, you put a sheet on there and 10 minutes later you have to take it off. He stated, he stated, I don't know how he's <laughs> on the sheet when he's living in a dog bed. He wasn't. Did he put sheets on that dog bed for him? No, he I stated that he had removed bed. the doors to the cupboards as he was going to paint them and that poisons were accessible to the children. Yes. He stated that his son was very smart and knew not to touch the poisons. Yes. He said that his youngest child wouldn't, would just remain in the crib and couldn't access the poisons. Yes. He confessed that the oldest child would be left outside unsupervised, citing that the backyard was fenced in. Yeah, it was a privacy fence. He said that he would play with the dogs and he was observed putting his face in the dog's bowl for water and food. He did confess that his son would sleep with the dogs outside during the day, mm -hmm. but says that he did not sleep outside. No, he did night. not. He would play with his dogs and he would lay down and, you know, pass out with his dog Nova. Um, if you were working all the time, which yes, I sir, do, I was. Uh, and I don't doubt that. I worked really hard too, and I'd come home and I'd spend my time the three hours that I had, four hours I had with my kids. So what are you doing different than most Americans? I don't know. I didn't but you did something different because your kids got taken yeah, away. They said because of her. Do you blame her? I blame myself for. You don't blame her at all? No, well. You were working. When she's at home, what is she doing? She was supposed to be taking care of the kids. She's supposed to be taking care of the kids. And take care of the kids is, she was part of her responsibility of a stay at home mom, keeping the house clean, putting things away, picking up dog, cat. When you came home after eight or nine hours of hard work, yes. did you say, hey, why am I coming home to a pigsty? Yes. What did you say to her? Clean up the house. Clean up the house. So the next day when you go to work and you come home and it's still a pigsty, what did you say? I said, why isn't the house clean? Why isn't the house clean? And then the next day when you came home and it's still a pigsty, what did you say? Um, can, I, can I speak for a moment? No. It wasn't always a pigsty. If you go back in time, would you leave Sarah? I love my wife. I oh, I, I don't doubt that. I don't doubt that because you must love her. You must love her. You must be crazy in love with her that you would pick her over your own children. I didn't pick her over my own. I didn't pick her over my own children, Steve. They never gave me that opportunity to be able to have my kids. She said she would leave so I could have my kids. And they said, don't do it. Who said don't do the, it? The people who are helping us, the lawyers. They said no. Yeah, stay stay as in yeah. that family. That's what they And said. then what happened? And now it's just you and her. It's just, you know. You know I, hey, I don't have my kids anymore. <laughs> no, it's not like that. It is like that. It's not all well. Go be with her. Go be with her. What did I do wrong? See you later.